SBS Media Tamil. It's 7.53 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday night. One of our kids is in bed. The other one is watching Daniel Tiger. <laughs> and you know what that means. It's time to get our bake on. Was that anything? That was great. Our bacon. Oh, boy. This Wait, week. Wait, introduce yourself. All oh, right. I'm Travis McElroy of the internet. I'm Teresa McElroy of the real world? I don't know what the internet No, I guess I feel like I didn't want to introduce myself. Like if if you know who I am, you probably know who I am from the internet. Was what I was getting at. Oh, okay. If there's a I mean, unless we went to high school together, I guess. You might know me from high school and I have no idea that I make internet shows. <laughs> if so, hey, how's it going? I haven't seen you in forever. How are the kids? Okay. This episode. Hotly contested. Cont- Traversal. Lots of uh, BuzzFeed articles, Huffington Post articles, Daily Mail articles. So this episode, I, I, I don't know, maybe you've missed it if you're only watching it on Netflix and you don't read the trades. <laughs> um, so even though it comes to Netflix on Friday, it's airing in in the UK on Wednesday. Right. Um, and Oh, I'm drinking white wine, by the way. And I'm having bourbon. So it's hard... For us to miss that, and in fact, I would say it goes beyond hard. Teresa will actively seek it out, not uh, always. Well, see, the thing is, for me, spoilers are not—they're not real. It doesn't—it doesn't bother me to know the end. I can still enjoy the middle. Um, in fact, I tend to enjoy things more when I know what's going to happen uh, because I have uh, I. Anxiety. I have, I've had, I have anxiety. <laughs> yes, you have anxiety. Um, yeah, and I think even more so, like, that's not, that's not always true. A lot of the time, I would say probably 60% of the time, you have not looked up, like, who won and who lost a week. Uh, but this one was unavoidable. Yeah, it was everywhere. Because everybody was talking about this. Um, the and, Twitters were a tweeting. So, you know what, Let's let's run through it. Because I'm sure it'll be the thing we're talking about, right? So right. The, the the kind of run uh, of this show was that Peter and Dave had good weeks, and Armin and Laura had off weeks. Yeah. Um. And I I so we've talked about this before on the show too that sometimes when after the show is over and you see who especially goes home, right? Mm-hmm. Then you go back and watch it again. You're like, oh, you know, now that I know that. I can see. So, like, right. right after we finished, I went back and watched what they said about Ermine and Laura's signature. And basically, with Laura's signature, it was that uh, the spices were a little bit off, but that, like, the sponge was perfect, right? And, like, overall, they liked Laura's. And the thing is, is what I remembered was like, well, Laura did bad and Ermine did okay. But when you go back and watch it, yeah. they're like, yeah, uh, they, what they said was Ermine's looked really good. Mm-hmm. That it was like, you got a good but shine it, on the tempered chocolate. And but like, it was a little uneven in the bake. Yep. And that it was uh, too dense. The, yeah, the texture was all wrong of the, the baba. The proving was wrong. Like the, the, the look of it was good. And so it leads with them like complimenting the look. But it wasn't, the bake wasn't good. Yep. Um, they said it was too bready. And uh, let's talk about a highlight, though. Peter got that handshake. Mm, yeah. The first handshake boy. in, like, five episodes. And Teresa and I were, like, uh, over the moon. We both, I think, like, stuck our hands up in the air like it was a field goal. Like, we were <laughs> so excited. That's uh, our Peter. That's My son did so well this episode. <laughs> well, that's what he was programmed to do. Uh, Dave also did well. Uh, minor things like one, uh, he like one of his saverns, like uh, it peeled off. Yeah, it got stuck getting, in the mold or right. something like that. He said. And like, here's the thing for design choice. Too, Paul, usually Paul's a little picky when it comes to like design. Mm-hmm. But I stand by his point, which is like the custard in the bowl. That was a lot of custard for just a design choice. Like yeah. if someone brought that to my table in a restaurant, I'd be like, Do I eat the? Am I supposed to eat the custard? Yeah. It should have been a smaller bowl. Right. I mean, is what it is, right? Or have the custard tie in, like Paul said, have it tie in right. with it somehow. But, but everything it, tasted great. But everything tasted great. So his as well. Then we get to the uh, the technical. Mm-hmm. And like, man, when they revealed what it looked like, 
I was like, look at that. That's oh a, it was God. amazing. It's like, a centerpiece. It's beautiful. It is. I mean, it is It is a centerpiece bake. And like, it's my favorite technical they've done this season. Yeah. I think. Because this is the one where I was like, okay. Like, I definitely see like where it is technically challenging, mm-hmm. but I can see how you would make it. Yeah. Right? Because everything that was in it was not like... It wasn't overly uh, finicky. Mm -hmm. It was just like, you either can make it or you can't. Paul Uh, is always choosing these kind of like stack cookie things. Right. He always does, what's it, kanzakaken or something like that? I don't know, but what a word you just said. I loved it. That's where they take the the circles and make and like stack up smaller and smaller circles to make Mm -hmm. a Christmas tree looking thing. Oh, right, right, right. I know what you're talking about. Um, And so right out the gate, Laura was struggling. Mm Mm-hmm. And had a really lovely moment from Matt where he came over and kind of jokes went out of the room for a second. And Matt just said, like, you're going to do it. You're going to finish. You know, you wouldn't be here if you didn't know what you were doing. It was very Mel and Sue. And, and like, you could see in his face. I think one of the things that really clicked for me this episode especially is I think Matt really uh, clicked well with Laura. And I think Noel really clicked well with Ermin. I think they both like. Yeah. I, I think everybody got along well, and you see some. There's some good moments between Noel, like Noel and uh, Noel and Dave, and Noel and Peter, and everybody gets along well. But I, I get the impression that like, especially I think Laura and and Matt just get along well, mm-hmm. and every time Ermine calls Noel vampire, it makes me really happy. <laughs> um, and it makes Noel really happy. Yeah, too. I think he loved it. <laughs> um, and so the technical. Uh, Dave. <laughs> so Dave, in maybe is one of, one of my top three that moments. Was the best thing I think I've heard you say all day. What? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, is it was okay. It was such a good moment. It's one of my top three favorite moments of this season. I think when Dave put his up on the gingham altar and said, "I should have looked around." <laughs> So good. <laughs> just because it's such a pure moment of just like him, like it's like a horn, you know, like a horn, like a rhino's horn. <laughs> it's like a horn. And then he gets up there, like, no, I've made a terrible mistake. Uh, and watching Paul react to it too and giggle. And Prue punched him. And Prue was like, Paul, come on, get it together. Was oh, so good. And Paul even said when they did the little cafe cutaway that he was like, <laughs> want a piece of my horn. I was like, ooh, saucy Paul. So, uh, aside from making it uh, more erect than it needed to be, they liked Dave's. That joke you tried too hard. I didn't like it. No, it was erect. Okay, you get it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, Laura's was a mess. Start to finish, they basically oh. said, like, I think Prove had said everything was wrong with it. Yeah. That it was, like, too soft, underbaked, uh, that the royal icing was a mess, that the caramel was bad, like... Everything about it was bad. Uh, and then I think next was Dave's. And, like, it was okay. And then second place there was... There were some baking issues. So Dave's was overbaked. And then bu- and above Dave, though, Hermine's was underbaked. Yeah. And it, and then... Uh, so if I'm remembering correctly, Peter's wasn't... Didn't curve into the cornucopia, like, horn shape. Mm-hmm. But other than that, it was, like, great. Yeah. I, they loved his icing and the, the chocolate... Pieces. It threw me a little bit that nobody knew what a cornucopia is. Maybe that's because that's such an American Thanksgiving thing. I think it is. I think that's why. I mean, it's kind of like one of the symbols that we've adopted for the the season of Thanksgiving yeah. around here is the horn of plenty, right? Yeah. It just is like such a clear picture in my head. That when they were like, I don't know what it's supposed to look like. I'm like, you don't? Mm-hmm. Um, so now we get to the showstopper. So first, let's talk about Dave and Peter. Okay. So uh, what did Dave do? Dave did, um, he did three different kinds. No, I think he did two. No, no, no. No, What? No, maybe you're right. No, you're right. You're right. No, he did. Because he had like a white one, a brown one, and a dark brown one. Right. I I think that the bra- the light brown ones were mostly structural, right? But anyway, they looked very much like fondant fancies to me. Yes. So um, the, the, the the I should have said the brief was a cube cake. Mm-hmm. Uh, so basically, not. Let's see. One, two, three, four, nine. 
Uh, ben three. So twenty seven, I think. No, wait a second. Yeah. That's not that can't be right. Yeah, and you have nine squares and then nine squares and then nine squares. All Three right. stacks okay. of nine, I okay. think. Yeah. yeah. Um, basically, uh, <laughs> Paul, they're talking about cubes and talking about nine by nine. And then he said, like, think like a Rubik's Cube. And I was like, yeah, Paul, a cube. But we well, get it. I don't. Uh, OK, here's the thing, though. Right. When it was stacked right, like Dave did it, did did Peter, Peter stack did it, it too, where it looked like mid turn. Right. Yeah. Then it really does look like yeah. a Rubik's Cube. The other ones, when you just stack squares on top of squares on top of squares, and you're kind of like, oh, I mean, they're little squares in a square. Um, and the brief also said that you could use non-edible elements for structure, mm-hmm. but like if it was all edible, you got bonus points. I, I, well, I think it's just brownie points. Right, right. It's like, I guess that would score better, but that didn't really ever come into play. No, nobody got docked at all for no. that. But So then Peters was, he did like three, it was like three different sponges, three different glazes, three different mousses. All kind of like, that. like, uh, the combos were right. all different. And, you know, I will say I thought Dave's looked cleaner. Yeah, I think I think the way that he decorated it made made more sense. So he did like the Z of little drizzled chocolate on the right. top, where Peter did some kind of like geometric like pistachio thing mm-hmm. and raspberry thing. And, and his like, had more like the crumb thing. Yeah, the, had, the, yeah, the crumb coats things, not crumb coat. That's different. Yeah. But like just rolled in crumbs type deal. And I, so like I think Dave's looked more like what you would see. Like on platters, where mm. I, I will say I think Peter's was more visually interesting. Yes. I just thought Dave's had cleaner lines. Sure. Um, yeah. There was design choice. But basically, uh, so they really liked Dave's. And Paul even said, like, you know, you're really improving. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I also noticed along those same lines, uh, I think Dave's had a haircut since the show started. Because in his Gingham Alter picture, he looks uh, kind of shaggy and a little doofy. And he's got a much cleaner haircut now. It looks great. I'm certain that they have stylus on set. Um, but Peter's was a slam dunk. And basically yeah. going into the show stop, I said to Teresa, like, it's Peter's to lose. Here's the thing, too. Like, he made so much, so many different cakes. Right. You, sometimes that can really be bad. Remember right. James when he made the um, Union Jack cakes and right. they were all different and all terribly different? Right. <laughs> and... Paul was like, how do I judge this? This is just like a, a table full of cake. Right. Um, but Peter did it right, where he was like, they tried one. They're like, this is amazing. And he's like, try the other one. Try that one. It was amazing. And he's like, now you have to try the third one too, right? And they tried that one. They're like, ah, oh, we love it. Right. And like, I don't remember them having any negative comments on Peter's. So he went, he had oh. the handshake in the mm-hmm. signature, first place in the technical, and a more or less flawless showstopper. Text book star yeah. baker. Perfect. <laughs> so now there's Laura's and her means. Yeah. So let's do Laura's first and then we'll talk about her mean. Okay. So Laura's she was going with just one cube where yes. up till now like Peter did three with all kinds of combinations and Peter and uh Dave did three different ones and so Laura's was just kind of a like black forest cake kind of thing. But it was layered. So it With, had like yeah. a biscuit base and a mousse and a cake and a, and another mousse, I think. They said like five layers. I yeah. can't remember yeah, exactly yeah. where they were. But it also, the, the look of it hinged on a mirror glaze, which just did not, maybe the worst I've ever seen a mirror yeah. glaze turn out on the show. Uh, it looked like a watered down chocolate syrup yeah. had been dumped over it. I think she. I now, do you think that that was all heat, or do you think that she just didn't do it right? There is no way that just a hot tent, maybe hot tent plus still hot sponge. Okay, so maybe hot, the hot tent plus uh, hot chocolate or hot cake. Right? Maybe, maybe just no. But time. even then, then it was like technically she did a bad job because yeah. it like just poured all over the counter. It was like I said, the worst mirror glaze I've ever seen on the show. Um, and that was, but that was like the big bad thing was it looked terrible. But for her. Paul was like, mm, "This but is so flavor, good, we yeah. love it." And and you even said going into it, I was like, "Oh my god, that looks terrible." And you said, "But if the flavor is there, that matters." And again, yeah. 
Now let's talk about Armin's. Oh, man. So Armin, knowing that she was going to go home, we went into, after technical, we went into Showstopper and I said, she's going to have to absolutely tank here because like she got second in technical and Laura got fourth, which admittedly there's only four people, but that really matters. This is the time when that comes yeah. back around to really matter. This is like the only time that that usually really matters. If everybody nails their signature and everybody nails their showstopper, last in technical in the final, like sends you a semifinal or whatever, sends you home. Yeah. Um, and and so I was like, she's gonna have to do so bad, and then she said. In, like, the description of her thing, like, I have never practiced this. This is a brand new recipe, and I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants. Like, not verbatim, but... I think but... that she even said, I don't have a recipe. She was just making blank up. But, yeah, even if that wasn't the guy, she might as well, might have well, because she kept saying, like... I don't know. I hope this works. I don't know about this. She used the word concoction, which is never a good sign. Mm -hmm. And I think every step of the way she knew. I think that she just gave up, you know, like where where I feel like Laura is always kind of clawing tooth and nail to stay. Yeah. Ermine was just kind of like, I I just can't do it anymore. Well, she said that, right? She said, like, this is my first, like, disaster bake out of the entire nine weeks. And it just came here. And that was the problem. And I think to your point, like, I think Noel said during the judging, like, how many times have we said Laura has to save herself a showstopper and then she has, right? Like, I think that, I think that Ermine is the better baker overall. I agree, but she had a bad showstopper. I, I think, I think, I don't know if it was just, because patisserie is her thing. They she kept, always says that. And that's why and they keep repeating it. And she has shown that, too. Yeah. Because people have often said, like, oh, I, well, when we get to cake week or whatever, I'm so good with sponge. And then it's like, your sponge is bad. Yeah. But, like, she has said patisserie, and we saw it last week. We saw, we've seen it before where it's was like, oh, yeah, her attention to detail is the thing. She can do that clean finish. And so I don't know if going into this, it was hubris that she was like, I haven't practiced. I don't know it, but I can nail this. Or if it was like, I, I, I'm so flustered that it hasn't worked in practice. I don't know what I'm going to do. I feel like we've out. seen this. Uh, we've seen this almost every season where there's one person who gets so far that they psych themselves out. It happened to Raul, remember? He was down, he was in the bottom yeah. for like three episodes because he got in his head and he basically gave up, you yeah. know? And I think that he was fortunate in that there was always somebody worse, yeah. but not this time for Hermine. Nope. And and and, and then in the judging, they were it was bad. It was bad. Where yeah. I, I I don't okay. Paul a, was like, "This is a rubber ball." Yeah, and she even said as she was making it, like, "I think I put too much gelatin in it," and it like it ended up being, I think, what was supposed to be mousse, and it was like he said, like panna cotta, like you could like squeeze it and it jiggled, and like I think it. Uh, here's the one thing I will say: I think it looked slightly cleaner than Laura's. Yeah, but slightly. even then, they said it was melting. Because it was, like, stacked up with the biscuit base, right? She yeah. had tried to go all edible. And you could see the bottom layer was squishing down. So even that wasn't that much better. And this is why I went back and wanted to rewatch the first one. Mm -hmm. Because I think... You know, okay, so Laura did last in technical, right? And Hermine was second. But her showstopper was way worse than Laura's. Yeah. And I think Laura's tech or signature was better. I think it's as hard as it is to watch, and I think Armin is the better baker overall. Mm -hmm. I oh, this hurts to say, but I do think they made the right call. I I agree. And we've talked about this idea of they almost they always try to judge the bakes on the day, yeah. not what they think somebody could have done. Now, does it happen? Absolutely it does. But they're always talking about how we we don't go back as much as we can. We don't go back through the weeks. And even if this wasn't the best one that they've done, like it, it's the one on the day. And her, Hermine just... 
She gave in. To she that gave point, up. the only time we ever seem to see the like retrospect creep in is to someone's detriment. Because they kept saying to her, mean, like, you're better than this. You should be better than this. And I think that, like, that is an indication of they know she could be better. Yeah. And I think that seeing her then fail, fail to prepare and, like, do a, do a bad job as far as, like, the semifinals, the quarterfinals go. Yeah. I think that hurt her rather than helped her. I think so, too. And like I said, it hurts to see Ermine go. I mean, if I had my druthers, I would keep her and send Laura home. I think Ermine is the better baker. Um, uh, going into, now let's talk about the final, going into the final, I don't see Laura winning it. I don't either. I, I, I was actually thinking today during the signature before Peter got the handshake, seeing uh, Dave's like signature, I thought I can see... A, a scenario in which Dave b- wins. Mm-hmm. I mean, definitely. I think that if he pulls out all the stops and Peter has a kind of like an overcomplicated moment, which right. he's he's tend to do sometimes, then it, it definitely could be. But I don't. I it's a it's a two person race. I mean, that's it. Like we, it hurts to say. I don't want to feel like I'm being mean to Laura, and she she's done Star Baker right. Like she had a great week, but I think she. Was she Star Baker twice or once? Once. I think that we've just never really seen her excel right. for an entire episode. She has like base where it's just like, well, that was incredible. That one was great. Mm-hmm. But like she has never consistently like if you compare her her episode to Peter's episode, oh, it's yeah. different universes. Yes, yeah, totally. And and so like I, I I don't see her winning it. Even if she has like a spectacular showstopper or something, like mm-hmm. I, 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 it's a long shot to me. I don't want to end like this. Do you know what I want to talk about? What I want to talk about Noel's introduction about baking patisserie in his lingerie, and it felt so much like a crimp. That did. You are absolutely correct, madam. It did feel like a crimp. I loved it. I loved it too, and I hated that Matt stopped him. But they did dance and sing a little bit on the pan out. But, like, I was like, yeah, no, let's see that grip. I felt overall like this was a very good Matt and Noel episode. Oh, let's talk about that. Yeah. In the, uh, when they did the, like, who's in trouble, who's doing good, Mm -hmm. it really felt like Noel was pulling for me and hard. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you could tell that it like and and he had to do the sinning home and you could tell it hurt him mm. and it hurt her mean oh boy she but, has that face we're not talking we don't want to end we got the sad. final I'm very excited about the final yes uh, yes I I cannot wait to see I tell you what maybe maybe it's just because like this is the first time we've had a new season in a while but I'm really excited for the like you know familiar faces showing up oh and yeah they, do you think they'll do that I don't what know what are they gonna do maybe they'll do like a virtual thing where like we'll get to see little videos sent in or something oh I hope so cause I really don't think with the current climate they could do uh, like a fate that's true I wonder what they'll do see I'm very interested now. yeah Okay, um, so join us again next week for the finale. Uh, oh, we ate this cookies, season. by the way. Oh, we had cookies. <laughs> we did. We forgot to they were buy like anything. Sea salt and caramel. Take and bake cookies. Yeah, they were very good. They were yummy. Uh, so, Teresa, what is our preposition this week? Bake out.